Hey you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I just want to make a quick video to show you guys some of the amazing quality of prints that I'm getting out of my CR10 3D printer, which is right behind me. If you're following me on social media, you might know that I have a Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord mask that I'm working on. that will have that video out later in the week here, so very excited for that, so make sure to stay tuned for it. In the meantime, I'm doing some prints for that project, and I just want to show you a comparison between my CR10 3D printer and my BQ Hephaestos 2. The CR10 you can pick up for, again, under 500 bucks or less typically. Uh, the Hephaestos 2, I believe, is retailing for about $1,000 or $800, depending on where you get it from. And previously, I thought the Hephaestos 2 had really good print quality uh, w with the prints that I was getting from that when I was doing different projects. And then I decided to compare it against some of the pieces <laughs> that I'm getting off of my CR10. And to me, it's night and day. It might be a little bit hard to see in the video. I'll include some close-ups here where you can see this. But the print lines on the CR10 are just so smooth. There's really going to be little to no sanding and filling that I'm going to have to do on this particular print, which is something that I'm very used to when it comes to doing these types of projects. The settings for both of the printers were almost identical. So 0.2 millimeter layer height for both of these, 10% infill, the same print speed was used for both of these. I think it was 60 millimeters or something like that. And again, I just can't believe the quality of prints that I'm getting off of the CR10. I knew it was good, but I didn't realize it was this good. I'm, I'm extremely pleased with this. I'm planning on doing a full review of this printer in the next week or two, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I've got links down below if you're interested in grabbing one where you can pick it up. I'll include a few different locations, uh, one from Gearbest as, one for, as well as one for Tiny Machines, which is a company that I'm going to be working with on a new version of the CR10 that is getting shipped out to me in the next week or so, so stay tuned for a video on that. Very excited about that one. Um, but yeah, yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys. I was very excited with some of the prints that I was getting off of this, so I couldn't really sort of wait till this video that I'm working on comes out to express this. I wanted to share it right now with you guys and uh, let you know what you can get off of not only a pretty cheap machine, but a machine that has a huge build volume. So for me, this is perfect for all of my props, but uh, yeah, just want to share that with you guys. So thanks again for watching you guys. And if you enjoyed, like all that good stuff, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because I have an awesome, awesome video on this Guardians of the Galaxy Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars? Star Lord mask out uh, probably Friday or Saturday this week. All right, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.